Can you say, I mean, if the Chinese are cut off from Western 5G, I mean, if Huawei is banned from the United States and from European countries, and as a consequence, the global technology market is not global, mm. but instead you have mm. Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent mm. on the Chinese side, mm. and you have Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, a few others on the American side, it's hard to see how that's better for China. Hard to see how it's better for the United States. For the world. <laughs> right, but hard to see how it's better for China. I mean, I'm just, I'm having a hard time understanding that. I, I get the fact that China needs to do some reforms and that this yeah. is pushing them to do reforms. But I mean, it's hard for me to paint a picture that this is uniformly good for China. In the technology sphere, uh, clearly having two separate digital infrastructure technology ecospheres in the world is clearly inefficient and costly for everybody and for China as well. But the Chinese government realizes that it's very possible that the exchange of knowledge, uh, flows of ideas, uh, technological, uh, let's say, uh, sharing, um, could potentially really, uh, you know, stop. Uh, we, it, 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 a lot of the Google, Facebooks, Microsoft hire a lot of Chinese students mm -hmm. and then they return to the U.S. Uh, pushing through a lot of these innovative activities. That can all just stop. So the Chinese is braced for those kind of um, outcomes. That's not to say that it has to be the ultimate um, consequence, but they are prepared for that. And we agree, it's highly costly for everybody, but Huawei, Huawei is going to be just fine because Huawei has a huge Chinese domestic market. All these tech companies will be just fine just occupying the Chinese market and bits and parts of the emerging world. <laughs>